Welcome back. This is Hugo here. And I would like to give you one more exercise, right? Because some of you f sometimes feel as if uh, no one actually cares, cares about you or no one actually loves you. You feel like your self-esteem is at all time low, right? So how is it that someone is able to keep their self-esteem always at a very healthy level, right? At a very high level. How is it that someone can be so sure of themselves and what they are capable of, regardless of what circumstances that they have or they are undergoing in their life, right? Because let's face it, right? Life is a roller coaster, right? Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. But the most important thing is it doesn't matter whether you are in the up trend or the down, right? Most important is that you are able to maintain your state of certainty throughout all the times. We don't want you to be super elated when you are at your good times and become like super depressed, suicidal when you are at your down times, right? We do, do not want this fluctuation in our state. We want to be able to be the same competent, consistent person regardless of our circumstances. So let us say if you are someone who finds it very hard to love yourself because some people simply unable to accept themselves for whatever reason and uh, we don't have the time to dig into their past and correct everything right so let me give you one simple exercise here here is what you're gonna do right some way sometime in your life there is someone who love you fully and completely or at least there is someone somewhere in your life that pays you a compliment whether it's in your, uh, on your intelligence, on your beauty, on your capability, on your talent, whatever is it, right? So someone might have loved you, someone might have liked you, someone might have paid compliment to you. So what I want you to do is whenever you feel like you are not loving yourself, when you feel like no one is loving you, I want you to try this exercise, right? So whatever visualization exercises, you have to go back and watch the visualization video, right? What is the step-by-step? -step? So you must start off with relaxation, get in the right condition, and then you start visualizing. So I want you to think back of a time when someone pays you a compliment, for example, or can you visualize someone that really really love you who really really care about you so i want you to look at that person i want you to hear how is it they love you i want you to hear what compliments they are paying to you what is it that they are praising you do they give you a pat on the back do they give you a thumbs up do they give you a hug do they say really nice things to you do they give you a award do they encourage you to go after your dreams do they tell you not to give up? What is it? Is it that you receive a written love letter or is it a written encouragement letter or is it your friend tells you how indebted, how ingratitude they are of you? Right. I want you to think of the moment and if you have a person, I want you to think of that person. Right. So same thing, you turn up the brightness, you turn up the volume, you make sure everything is moving as vivid as possible and as real as possible, right? So once you are able to get into that state, what I want you to do is to step into the person that loves you, that praise you, that encourage you. So at first, you are two distinct entity. You observe what this person is saying to you, how this person loves you, care about you. Now, what I want you to do is to step into this so that you too can become one entity. Now, here's the crazy thing. As you begin to step into the person that cares for you, that loves you. Now, as you assume the body, as you assume the point of view of that person that cares about you, now you're going to look through the eyes of this person who loves you. And you are going to see that as you are listening to me, you're going to see that you are seeing through the eyes of a person who really care about you. And as 
they encourage you as they serve you and help you. Pay attention to what they see in you. What is it that they see in you that makes them appreciate you so much? What potential that they see in you? What good deeds, what good character that they appreciate in you? What is it? How are they feeling? What are they seeing? What are they sensing? What are they hearing? At that moment of love and care towards you, at that moment when they are praising you, feel and relieve the experience of how appreciative they are of you at that moment. Feel it for yourself. How in gratitude, how in love that person is for you. You relieve that moment, turn on the brightness, turn on the definition, turn up the volume, increase the interaction, view it in multiple situations. And when you are at the peak of your experience, repeat the same thing. Pinch your thumb and your middle finger. Repeat this in the morning, at night, whenever you feel there is a need for it. After you have repeated this enough, Every time when you press your thumb and your middle finger together, you will automatically able to assess as if you are in a third person point of view, right? You are able to feel all the appreciation towards yourself. You are able to assess to all the love others have for you. You are able to assess to all the gratitude people have for you through their point of view. And this is how powerful this exercise is. Especially useful if sometimes you feel like you have no reason to appreciate yourself. Then why not use another person? So yeah, that sums up the uh, exercise that I have for you. So once again, try it out. And as we go through a lot more conditioning techniques and patterns, you will realize that there are a lot of things to play with and our mind, our belief is malleable. They can be conditioned, reconditioned, unconditioned. We can learn, relearn, unlearn, learn faster. Everything is a matter of perception, right? That's why we say that perception is reality. Whatever that you perceive with your mind, that is the reality. And if you perceive and you hold on to that thought long enough, and using the right methods, you can condition the response, the physical response that you have. Imagine how powerful this is. For the first time in your life, now you are learning, you are being exposed. This is just the tip of this iceberg, right? We are just at the we are still at very much the first half of our program. And now you realize that you can actually play with your mind. I'm not even talking about influencing other people. Just imagine what kind of potential there is, what kind of opportunities there are if you can program yourself. You can choose the software that you want. Can choose your response in at once. You can basically predict your next next move with certainty. You can regulate your state. You can regulate your emotions. If you always feel angry over small matters, guess what? Now you have the power to regulate it. If you always feel stress at work, guess what? You can change that too. Just imagine the power of knowing how to program yourself. And once you are able to do that, and you can help many more people out there, right? A lot of people out there, doesn't matter whether they are rich or poor, right? Both of them have their own reasons to be de depressed. Both have their own reasons to be not satisfied 
with where they are in life. And you as a practitioner, you as a coach, as an instructor, as a trusted advisor, you have the power to influence them to be better. And now you know how. With this, that's all for this week. I'm Hugo Tan. Take care. As usual, God bless. We see some very honest participants here. Thank you. And how many of you would not raise your hands no matter what I say? <laughs> you want, huh? Okay. Yes, thank you everyone. This is Hugo here. A very good morning to Dr.